Hey, welcome to the Uncomfortable Is Okay podcast. I'm your host, Chris Desmond. This is a show where we help you get better at doing hard things. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different to the usual short strategy episodes. I'm currently lying here on the couch with my feet up in the air, just recording this on, uh, plugged my lapel mic into my phone. Some of you guys may have seen on social media that uh, I had surgery yesterday. So 12 years ago and 11 years ago, respectively, I broke my left leg and my right leg and ended up getting some metalware put into them. And I had a plate and some screws in my left ankle and I had a rod and some screws in my right tibia. I'll tell you the story actually of of how I broke them. So the right tibia, I was playing rugby and went in to make a tackle on a guy, wrapped him up kind of around his shoulders and he spun in the tackle. So with my momentum, I kind of spun around, I was hanging onto him, my legs flailed out to the side. One of my good mates actually, one of my teammates, running back the other way, just smacked partway down my shin, broke the bone, and ended up lying there on the rugby field, had to wait for an ambulance to come and get me, and then when they they moved me from the field onto the stretcher, apparently it looked like I had two knees, so that was pretty gross. And my coach at the time still reckons that 11 years later, that's the worst noise that he's ever heard. So that was that was a rod that went into my into my right leg. The left leg was slightly more amusing story. I'd seen this girl a couple of times, um, and we went out uh, out into town one night and had a few drinks and, and went back to to her place. And she just moved houses, and. She had a loft bed, which was probably two and a bit metres up off the ground. Uh, Loft beds are pretty weird. They're they're a thing here in some houses in Wellington to create more room. So yeah, climbed up the ladder onto the bed, fell asleep and woke up in the middle of the night and needed to go to the bathroom and spun myself over the edge of the bed, pushed off and all of a sudden realised that there wasn't any floor there because I was still half asleep and it was dark. Tried to stop myself on the way down, didn't manage to stop myself on the way down, fell heavily on the floor and ended up with my foot pointing backwards while my knee was still pointing straight ahead. (laughs) She called down and said, are you okay? And I said, no, no, I think you probably need to call an ambulance, please. I'm lying there on the floor all her flatmates pile in because they've been woken up by this massive thump of someone hitting the floor. And the worst thing was I still needed to go to the bathroom. So I had to shuffle down on my butt while my foot was just dangling uselessly so I could go to the bathroom. That was the plate that went in my left ankle. <clears throat> so I've had them in for yeah 12 years and 11 years respectively. And for the most part, they've been pretty good. Recovery from the ankle, I was in cast for eight weeks and then probably six months of rehab to get back to to running and doing things like that. For the rod in my tibia, uh, I was on crutches for about three and a half months and then probably again another about another six months of rehab to get back into, into doing things. And for those of you that have been listening to the podcast for a while, you know that they haven't really slowed me down or stopped me that much. I've run ultra marathons on them, I've played rugby on them, I go surfing, not very well admittedly, mostly it's paddling, but do yoga, lift weights, and generally am reasonably adventurous on them. Uh, they they do get niggly. They did get niggly occasionally, which was part of the reason to to decide to get them out. So I had them out yesterday in Wellington, and everything went reasonably well. The the plate and the screws came out of the left ankle really well. The rod and most of the screws came out of the right leg pretty well. There were a couple of tibial plateau screws there that were buried a bit deeper, so the surgeon had to go in and shave a little bit of bone off to try and try and find them found one and went to unscrew it and the head just sheared off it 
So he left that one in there and he, he didn't bother looking for the other one. So I've still got two and a bit screw or one and a bit screws left in my in my right knee, but for the most part feeling pretty good. I just started recording this without thinking too deeply about it, just to give you guys a bit of an update about where I'm at with things at the moment and in terms of the podcast earlier this week about managing capacity. And again, this is this is another nice reminder just to to take it easy on myself to be to be my friend, to not need to push too hard, even though I can can lie here on the on the couch with my feet in the air recording a podcast, which is is pretty sweet. It's also a nice reminder as well is that even when tough stuff happens, like my legs are pretty swollen at the moment and intermittently sore when the painkillers wear off. Yeah, pretty pretty puffy. But in six weeks' time, I'm going to be back running, jumping, doing all the things that I want to be doing. So just a really nice reminder that this tough stuff is it's fleeting. We can get through it, we can get past it, and that uncomfortable is okay. There's probably enough of a ramble. I'm not sure if I'm still high off the general anaesthetic ketamine that they pumped me through. Hopefully not. It's been about 24 hours, um, but I but I may well be. So hope you all have a lovely weekend, and we'll see you again next week. Thanks for getting uncomfortable with me today.